Yo, yo, what up, my beautiful Dowdies? How's everyone doing today? I'm your host, Fao. Let's talk about Hoho. It would be very weird if not anytime soon we would get a rerun for her, right? It's going to be her first rerun, and is she still worth it? Is she still good? Does she keep your team alive? And is she still a good option, right? Right now in the game, she still belongs to the top three, right? The top three sustainers in the game. And she is, of course, one of the more unique out of the three, in my opinion, right? As in, what she does, what she brings to the table, as of now in time, is a very unique and good thing to have on your team, right? The energy giving, the attack percentage, the cleanse, you know, like, throwing her on the team as a sustainer gives you a lot of value and is more of like a harmony abundance than a real sustainer sustainer, right? And then with the other three, it's the same thing, right? Aventurine deals damage while he sustains, and Fu Xuan gives another uh, crit, you know, gives her also a, a buff while she sustains, and that's why these sustaining units are so good, right? They do more than just keeping your team alive. And that's why she belongs in the top three of best sustainers. I think off the bat, we can immediately say that Ho Ho is, of course, best in slot with DOT characters, right? There's a few comps in the game where Ho Ho excels at dramatically, right? And of course, DOT comps are one of them. If you are a DOT lover, if you like Kafka Black Swan or any future DOT content, She's, of course, going to be the best sustainer to plop on that team, right? To add to the, to the mix. Hey, pause the video right now. Over 90% of you people that watch my videos actually are not subscribed to my channel. It would mean a lot to me if you would actually consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind after. Let's continue with the video. Characters that have really high scalings like uh, Dill with her attack percentage giving is also very good because the more attack percentage, then the more higher damage with the scaling and stuff on that. Also very good. Characters that need a lot of energy, like Argenti, for instance, are also very good with a Ho Ho, right? Because she really gets the old uptime going. She has some very good combinations out there. Now, on top of that, I do think Ho Ho is just a character that you can put on any team and it will work, right? I do think she is that character. I think the more investment you have in her, the better she gets. And you can put her in any case, in any scenario, in my opinion, for clearing content, right? Even in pure fiction, there might be some way to really also, if you if you do choose to have a sustainer, she can be good there. She does keep your team alive and she does buff them very effectively and gives ult uptime to get more cycles cleared in a pure fiction, right? So that could be a good thing. I'm more of a pure fiction player that has no sustain in there, so just damage and it doesn't matter, right? You just get the waves done. So that's something to consider. But in MOC, of course, and maybe other future late game, end game content, She's probably going to be a very good option for that as well. I do wonder when she's going to get a rerun, though. I made multiple videos about this already, or we had a lot of speculation and talk about this. Ho Ho and Argenti are the last two from the old roster that still need a rerun. So what might happen is the speculation right now, what the rumors have been going around, right? Is not really around her, or let's say she's not have been given a spotlight yet. So I do hope... When that is, when she does get a rerun, I still hope her value stays the same as now because that might be a drastic different uh, outcome, right? Or a completely different state of the game. Of course, we're going to make a follow-up video for that, so make sure to check that out because this is a very interesting character, in my opinion. Hoho -Ho is a very interesting, in-depth character that could work with a lot of teams. So I do think if you are looking for a sustainer, of course, getting one from the big three is always good then, of course, but she is very... I think she's my favorite out of the three. I don't own her, sadly. I already have a Fushuan as well, so not really need her then, of course, because I have just one of the big three already. And if you are expanding your roster even further with more sustainers, then go for it, right? But I have a very functional Japart, and I have some other options as well. But Japart, yet again, is very good for DOT, because you could put the light code on him that when he gets hit, he does a fire DOT. He has more chance to get hit. So that's already a good option, right? So... Do look at that at your account, you know, always say this, look at the options you have, if you really need it. She is a very good one though, and she can do way more than uh, a lot of other sustainers in a lot of certain scenarios as well, right? She, for instance, again, the DOT, she's going to excel at. It's very, very, very nice. In general, if you're struggling with a certain amount of content where you would need a cleanse, that would also be good, of course. So she's one of the sustainers that does do that. Same as Fushuan, right? She's the crowd control uh, negation those are very valuable in general so always look out for that if you're looking forward in those kind of things if you need it right now what do i think about the future for hoho -Ho? uh, i think she will always be good 
I think you can never go wrong with her. There might be a power creep around the corner. I always say it, right? It's literally creeping around the corner. Do keep that in mind. It is a gacha game. And they're always trying to make better and faster and stronger units, right? She's very unique. She is an abundance character. That would mean we would need another abundance character that does the same thing, but better, right? Don't know if they're going to do that anytime soon. I think sustainers in general... I don't know. There are not that many five-star sustainers in general, right? I think the limited ones are only four. Ho-Ho, Luocha, and then from the preservation, Fushuan and Aventurine, right? Of course, and then only two abundance technically. So do look out for that, right? It is in a way where it's almost inevitable that they're going to rapidly produce these because it's in a minority, right? So if there's a new abundance character along the way, that could mean that Ho-Ho could be less valuable all of a sudden, right? But then we have to look at what the character actually does. Ho-Ho is one of those characters, gives energy, already extremely valuable. The attack percentage is very good for a lot of uh, certain comps, right? So only those two things already give her a lot of value what other characters couldn't give. So do look out for that, do your research. But when she gets a rerun, at the rerun time, she's prob probably going to be pre pretty valuable still, especially for those DOT lovers and other... Uh, Scaling character with attack percentage, of course. And in general, you can plop her in any team and you will get more damage and more comfort and a better overall setup, right? One, do th one thing to notice, though, or do th think about is that she's pretty skill point hungry, of course. She can be played in a way where you will not run out of skill points. You have to know how the game works and how it functions, right? The comfort that Luocha brings, even though it might be less than Ho Ho, still is way com more comfortable. Even though she can do more than Luocha, as supporting wise plus sustaining, right? Luocha is very comfortable. Same thing with Fushuan. Fushuan is an extremely comfortable character. I think uh, eventually is also. She's probably the most skilled and most thinkative sustainer in the game. But that does give her the one of the edges above it because with a skilled player or that someone knows what they're doing, P tuning, whatever it might be, you know, skills in the game, she can be way better than the other options if you do play it correctly, right? So that is something to think about. She is very skill point hungry in certain scenarios, especially if you need to spam her ability. You do consider that, right? Of course, if you then put her in a deal comp where you already have a sparkle Ting Yun and then her, that is a phenomenal setup, right? Then you can take away those weaknesses again because sparkle gives you more skill points so you can make something up you know think for yourself it's always fun to team build Koho is a very good puzzle piece for a lot of things of course so do your research on that as well of course if you like Koho, it's your favorite character everything that i just said throw it out of the window get the characters that you want the characters that you want get you more fun more fun is playtime and playtime is good right because you want to enjoy yourself so that is of course without a question the most important thing and on top of that, if you do like her as a character, you're going to get a very good bonus because it's a very, very good abundance character. I do think from now to the end of time, she's going to be valuable no matter what. It's very hard to power creep preservation units if they already do something more than just keeping your team alive, right? Fushuan and Aventurine and Hoho are in the same boat here. They will, I think they'll never be bad. Of course, there might be better options than them along the way, but they can never be bad. I think Luocha, even though Luocha maybe fell off as a sustainer, still does his job. You can still clear content and he's lower than those three already, right? So you can clearly see that they're pretty valuable. So if you really, really like sustaining, right? It gives you comfort in general. If you're not really looking to get the most damage, you know, the more better offense, is the better defense. No, you like sustaining, you like comfort in general. You know, she's going to be a very good pickup for a sustaining role, right? You can go her and Fushuan. Hey, you're good to go. You got a lot of things going for you, right? So do think, keep that in mind. Of course, sustaining has another double-edged sword that you could play around no sustaining or already play around the things that the game gives you, right? Like a Bailu Japart and maybe already pulled another sustainer. So always keep that in mind. But hey, she's a very good character and I hope she's going to be good for a while because she does have that speciality in her kit. She might get power crap though, but that is for another video. If she does get a ray run soon, I hope so because I think a lot of people are do want her um, because she does give a lot of valuable stuff, right? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Coco, if she's still worth it to get. If she's bad, right, why you would not get her, let me know what you're going to use her for, what teams. 
because there's a lot of things out there where we can strategize and put her in, right? Love to hear you guys' takes on that, of course. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out and appreciate it. It means the world to me if you could. Make sure to join the Discord. We're trying to grow this community even further, of course. And if you want to support the channel even further, then become a member. It means the world to me if you do that. For the Hoho -Ho Wanters, of course, I hope the rerun is with Jade and Firefly. If that would be the case, that'd be nice for you. Hope you get her. Happy summoning. And I see everyone in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. Peace.